Thanks so much, Craig. Brian, a huge hit in that ninth inning, but leading up to your at-bat, Garrett Hampson draws a walk, Arise has a base hit, Solaire with a walk. What did you take away from the at-bats leading up to yours that allowed you to get the job done? Sí, o sea, ese, ese batazo grande en ese noveno in, después de todos esos turnos, por ejemplo, de todo eso fue eh, Arraes, también todo lo que estaban jugando. ¿Qué, qué, qué, ¿Qué te llevó a ese turno al final para tener ese éxito? Bueno, yo dije que no me ha pasado veces, ¿me entiende? Lo mismo, ¿me entiende? Porque ya me está pasando como mucho en todos estos días, ¿me entiende? No me ha sentido muy bien en el plato, pero dije en ese turno, bueno, tengo que, que, que ayudar a mi equipo porque de una manera u otra lo tengo que hacer. Ayer fue con la defensa, hoy mira qué, qué gran hit salió, gracias a papá Dios. Yeah, you know, I, I, I thought to myself, this can happen uh, again, you know. I had some difficult at-bats be before that one. Uh, but I, I was looking a way to uh, find a way to help the team. You know, yesterday I helped defensively, and, and today I, I, I had the possibility to help the team with the bat. You mentioned it, though, a couple of maybe frustrating at bats leading into that final one, but you didn't let it affect you. How do you make sure that you always carry a fresh perspective into every at bat? Sí, tú como dijiste ahí, este, varios, varios turnos que de verdad no salieron a tu manera. Este, ¿De qué forma tú, tú te mantienes fresco cada turno para, para venir con esa mente más clara? Yo te digo, yo te digo que mis hijos, mis hijos son la motivación de, de mí, de que yo cada día venga con el propósito, ¿me entiendes?, de hacer la cosa bien, ¿me entiendes? Yo sé que a veces no van a salir como yo quiero, ¿me entiendes?, pero mi propósito siempre es ayudar al equipo, ¿me entiendes?, confiar en Dios cada día más. Eso es lo que yo hago. Oro mucho porque para pa que me cada una de esas cosas me yo sé que me va a doler, me duele los momentos malos, me entiendes, pero eso viene y en los momentos buenos aprovecharlo. Yeah, you know, my kids, my kids always uh, put me a fresh in mind. Um, I go out there, try to help the team in any way. I know those bad moments are will come, but you know, between prayers, uh, meditation, trying to help um, your mind, you got to clear your head and, and, and try to help the team in any way. Showing the kids some love. That's perfect for Father's Day tomorrow. Brian, no doubt about it. It's been a long road trip, but you guys have won the first two games of this series. You have the opportunity to get the sweep tomorrow. What has been the biggest key to trying to finish this road trip strong? Estamos con el juego ahí. Ya mañana podemos terminar completamente duro en esta road trip. ¿Cuál va a ser la clave para terminar de esa manera fuerte? Happy fly. <laughs> the goal is always a happy flight, right? Yes. Hey, simple enough. Yeah, we yeah. want a happy flight tomorrow. All right, Greg, I'll send it back to you. Yeah, yeah you said insurance runs were huge against um, – that team is tough. I mean, they put together really good at-bats up and down the lineup, so having a little bit of cushion at the end was great. Yeah, Daly's been fighting. Um, he didn't like his at-bats in Seattle. Um, he liked him just okay yesterday, and then he felt really good today, just didn't really have much success. Um but, you know, credit to him, you know, he goes at bat to at bat, felt really good going into that last at bat, and, the, you know, two RBIs there was, you know, a big deal in the ninth. That seventh inning, you guys score a couple runs with a, a bases loaded walk and a wild pitch, whether it was patience, whether it was, you know, aggressive base running, just what did you think was kind of the biggest difference in that seventh? Well, Soler took good at bats all day long, three walks, um, felt like he is just seeing the ball really well. He knows when they're trying to pitch around him, and um, he's identifying spin pretty early. Um, so he's just been a monster all year long. Um, I would say we've had we had a lot of guys on base today. We didn't, didn't feel like we could cash in as much as we could have, and we could have put up a crooked number uh, early on. And, um, you know, they made pitches when they had to, a couple double play balls that kind of cost us early on. But we felt like we kept putting pressure on and finally broke through there. Braxton, another really good start. From when you first got your eyes on him in spring training to where he is now, what would you say is the biggest area of growth and what's it been like watching him as he's gone through the run he's on now and since he's come back up this season? Well, he spring training, he uh, was the long man coming out of uh, spring training. Uh, you know, then we sent him down, then brought him back up. I mean, it was and then started. Um, you know, we put him through a lot that first couple of weeks. And, you know, after that, you know, maybe one start in, I think it was Atlanta, he has been as good as anybody in our rotation. Today, the, the two seam was just so good. Um, that cutter has opened up um, really every pitch for him. And, it, you know, the slider today for me was kind of the wipeout pitch um, that, you know, he gets a lot of a lot of tickets, a lot of punch outs um, for, you know, the stuff that he the hat Like, you know, he's just a pitcher. And um, he can pitch any, any time, uh, any pitch, any time. And, 
um, did it again today. It's just been impressive to watch. And then just the importance of him being able to do that, especially with the state of the rotation and Cueto, Trevor, now Edward down, to be able to see him stepping up when you really need it, when your depth in the rotation is being tested. Your depth's going to be tested. You're going to need eight or nine starters every season. Um, very rare do you get five starters the whole year. And, um, you know, so for him to step up like he has, he had a good year last year in the 17 starts or whatever it was. But, um, you know, this year it feels like he's taking that next step. And I just feel like every start he just grows. And, um, again, developing a new pitch in the middle of the season is not easy to do. And having confidence to throw it in big spots um, just shows you what kind of athlete he is. Jonathan Davis, uh, he's come through with his bat on various occasions. He's made some really special defensive plays. What do you feel he's added to the team over the last couple of weeks? He's hit righties really well, um, solidified the center field as far as the defensive position goes. You know, we've had a mix and match there until we got him, and it's kind of tough to put him, you know, take him out of the lineup right now. He's, he's been really great, positive attitude. He loves being here. He loves playing baseball. Um, and he's just been, you know, really a bright spot since we acquired him. So, you know, we've, you know, we've been pretty fortunate to acquire him. The front office did a good job of identifying a need, and, and uh, he stepped up at the right time for us. What kind of luxury has it been for you how well the back end of your bullpen is, is pitching right now? Not only Puck, but also Tanner Scott and some others, not this series, but, I mean, yes, this series, also in the last few weeks. I mean, they've been pretty reliable. Yeah, they make you look good. That's the that's, that's <laughs> best, best way I can explain it. Um, no matter move, what move I make, it feels like they've stepped up and, and done a really good job. And um, you try to you know, put them in the right position to succeed uh, and put them in the right pockets. That doesn't always work out. And they have to pitch in some uh, tough pockets, maybe not the best matchups, you know, according to you know, whatever we're looking at and our scouting eyes look at. Um, but, man, have they done a good job. Uh, up and down. Um, from Oki to Flo to Scott to Puck, I mean, I go on and on. Um, there's some real stuff down there that's, um, you know, when you throw strikes, it's just tough to beat. And, um, you know, left and right matchups, you know, very rare to have um, two teams have four lefties and righties in the in the bullpen, so you can really mix and match, and it's it's been a luxury for us. This start feel pretty similar to your last one, just in the sense, you know, mixing it up, really good variety, some first pitch strikes, getting into good counts. Did this have a similar feel to your last start? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I thought my last start, I, I was a little bit sharper. Um, my changeup wasn't great today, but, um, you know, my, I think my cutter was really the difference. I was able to locate it up finally uh, for the majority of the time. Yeah, my slider came along there in the fifth and sixth. So, yeah, I thought I was a little bit sharper last outing, but today was good. When you got uh, Manessis out to, to end that sixth inning, you were kind of clapping your glove. Just how satisfying was it to, to be able to finish out that sixth inning? Yeah, it felt great. You know, obviously I haven't quite got through the sixth inning a ton of times this year. So, you know, after giving up the hit to Candelario and then facing Manessis, a really good right-handed hitter with a lot of power, it felt good to execute pitches there out of the stretch and, and get out of that sixth. Braxton, what is this last month? plus felt like for you. I mean, seeing the run that you've gone on so far, how rewarding has it been? Have you been able to take a step back and look at what you've done to this point? Yeah, I mean, I see it. I, I know I've pitched pretty well, but I don't... I've said it a million times. I just try not to get too high or get too low. I, I just know how hard this game is, and it can come back and punch me in the face as soon as anything. But, yeah, you know, it's just been a buildup of getting better and learning to pitch and just everything. So, yeah. And you spoke up the cutter, and again, just how effective it's been, considering how quickly you've begun to develop it. Just how, how satisfying is that? That been seeing that the that pitch progress? Yeah, it's been great. Um, you know, just as, as I've gotten more time up here and gotten more comfortable, the game has just really slowed down, and I've kind of understood how to manipulate the ball just a little bit better than I did in the past. Um, so yeah, the cutter's been huge. Skip mentioned the slider. What did you think of that pitch and the way it was working today? I thought it got better later. Early, it wasn't great. I threw a terrible one, the second batter to uh, Garcia. Um, but yeah, just kind of getting, feeling it out in warm ups and kind of figuring out what I need to do to sharpen that up. And I think I did the last couple innings. This team's off to the second best start in franchise history through this many games. And for the past three, three and a half, four weeks or so, you've you have the best record in baseball. What is the vibe in this clubhouse, the energy around this team? It's awesome. Playing winning baseball, it's it's freaking awesome. It's fun being in the dugout. It's 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 just a fun team to be around. 
all the time. Obviously, winning cures all, and we're finally getting a, a, a good taste of it. Leave the game to six with the game tied. They mark, the team scores two runs in the top of seven. Just way they feel like to see them be able to get the lead late and be able to hold it. Felt great. I knew it was coming. It was just a matter of time. We'd put up put up good at bats all game. Um, it was just a matter of time.